Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Colleen and this is Our Blessed Life. And today I'm going to be doing a detailed flip through of God's Design Life for Beginners by Masterbooks. This book is intended for kindergarten through second grade and my daughter Sophie is going to be a second grader this year. We've actually started using it. We are year round homeschoolers and we do um, homeschool during the summer. So we have already started this. Um, and so far we really do enjoy it. Sophie really enjoys it. So I wanna go ahead and give you, like I said, a detailed flip through just to show you what's inside, how you can use it, and um, some of those things in case you're looking at this and trying to make a decision. Um, so first of all, it is divided into three units, um, plants, the human body, and animals. So we've started in the first unit so far on the plants for beginners. I'm gonna show you some of the inside of the book um, and give you a little bit of information about this. So first of all, with um, Master Books, one of the things that's really cool about this book is they also have a God's Design Life series. Um, this book is meant to go along with that for your younger kids. So if you are using um, God's design um, for life with your older kids, you can use this to go along with your kindergarten through second grade kids. And it actually has an alternate schedule that you can download on the Masterbooks website to show you how to integrate those two books. So that is a really awesome thing if because the other books, the God's Design for Life doesn't start until third grade. So that makes it where you can do the same science for your whole family and just you can have um, activities and things that are age appropriate for your kindergarten through second graders. So I love that. But this book can also just be used independently of all of that, which is what I'm doing with Sophie. Um, and, um, I, and so far we do really love it. So like all of the elementary, um, master book science books there is a supply list in the beginning all of these projects that you would need these for are in the back of the book under optional projects but that's listed by um, lessons so you know exactly what to get so this one is the supply list for plants which is the first unit then there's a supply list for the human body then we see a supply list for animals this book is laid out where they would do science um, three to four days a week. It just kind of depends on the week as to how it's laid out. And of course you can do it any way you want to. That's just the way that they have it laid out and they have it with the check boxes where you can check off when you do it. It's like all of the other master books curriculum that you may be familiar with already. And I do really like that. I have gotten some books to kind of go along and I've done it based on unit. Okay, the plants unit starts with an introduction to life science. Here we're learning, is it alive? Or um, we're learning, is it a plant or an animal? Classifying plants and animals and things like that. Then we move on to flowering plants and seeds, different types of plants, grasses, trees, seeds, and then roots and stems, then leaves and photosynthesis. Then we have leaf identification, flowers and fruits, pollination, looking at a real flower, plant life cycle, and then unusual plants. So those are the six units within the first unit of plants. So for the first unit that we're doing, which is on plants, we are using um, From Seed to Plant by Gail Gibbons. We're using How a Seed Grows, and this is the um, Let's Read and Find Out level one, and then The Magic and Mystery of Trees. So those are the three that I have planned for the first unit on plants to go along with the book. Um, in addition to that, the second unit is on the human body and, and it has a body overview, bones and muscles, nerves and senses, digestion, heart and lungs, and skin and immunity. For that, I have read alouds. They are all the let's read and find out. Um, the first one is my five senses. This is a level one book. Then I have germs make me sick. This is a level two book. Hear Your Heart, which is also a level two book. And then The Skeleton Inside You, which is a level two book. And then the last unit is called Animals for Beginners, and it covers mammals, birds and fish, amphibians and reptiles, arthropods, other invertebrates, and simple organisms. And then for the Animals for Beginner unit, which is the last unit, I have three read alouds planned. The first one is What's It Like to Be a Fish? 
Then a nest full of eggs. These are also the let's read and find out. This is a level one. Um, and the uh, what's it like to be a fish is also level one. And then this is a level one from Tadpole to Frog. And I'll link all of these below, but I just got these on Amazon. I just wanted to go ahead and have my read alouds ready whenever I was ready to do them. Okay, so in each of the lessons, you'll see that there is something to read. And usually there are some words to trace. So in this first one, Sophie traced living things. It's got some questions. It's got some things to do um, like outdoor scavenger hunts and things like that. There are sometimes coloring pages or things to circle, um, things like that. And I just love how basic this is. And I also love that although the book is not just on plants or just on the human body or whatever, um, it does spend a good bit of time before just being like a complete survey course where they're just bouncing around all over the place. So I do, um, I do love that about it. Here I'm showing you uh, lesson two. So you can see again, there's something to read with words to trace. And once you finish going over that with a student, there's usually going to be some activities to do. So here there was a plant and animal worksheet to color the plants green and the animals orange. Then there are some review questions um, based on what they had read that day and another activity uh, that directs you to see Genesis 1 to match the days of creation. There are experiments and there are hands-on activities such as the skeleton activity where you build a skeleton. That's in the human body unit. There's vocabulary and vocabulary review all through this, um, which kind of reminds me a little bit of the good and the beautiful unit studies, and I do like that as well. Um, there are coloring sheets all throughout. This is one of a fern. And there are just targeted questions to ask your child as you read through the material together. Um, this has a feel of a Charlotte Mason uh, method to me. There's also scripture tracing throughout um, this book. This book does have a special project. At the end of the course, the students have an opportunity to do a special project, which could be a poster, sharing something they learned from the course, a short report from any of the sections, um, and it could also just be a short oral presentation. So they encourage you to do that with your child at the end of the course. At the back of the book, there are a ton of optional activities that you can do. And these are things like making models, um, doing activities, different things like that. So one example would be um, in Plants and Animal Cells, um, day six, it says make a cell model. You can make models of animal and plant cells by doing the following. Mix uh, yellow gelatin according to the box direction and place in the refrigerator for an hour until it's slightly thickened. Fill a zipper bag three-fourths full with a thickened gelatin. The bag represents the cell membrane and the gelatin is the cytoplasm. Insert a red grape for the nucleus. You now have a basic animal cell. Squish the gel gelatin around to see how the cell moves. To make a plant cell, add several green grapes inside the cell. These parts, these are the parts that help the plant turn sunlight into food. So that's just one example. Um, and there are a lot of different ones. Um, I do love that they focus on vocabulary, but this is basic information. So um, sometimes I wonder just with Sophie's acquisition of the English language, if there are basic things that they, they just kind of haven't, um, she just hasn't been told or hasn't understood. And so I really wanted something very basic, but I really do love this. I think it would be perfect up through second grade, probably no more than that. Um, and I do think it is sometimes very difficult to find a good science program for kindergarten, and I think this would really fit the bill for that. I've also used um, Masterbooks, Adventures in Creation, and we used that last year, and we loved it as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.